What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Top Cat the Gamer here. We are back with some more Trails to Azure. All right. We are going to get right back into the story here. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, guys and girls. May I say that? Um, yeah, what was I doing? It was... I think we had to go to the studio. The doll studio. Yeah. We're going to get right into it. Uh, well, we can't park directly there. <clears throat> Man. All right. Oh, I finally, uh, got the, uh, Intimidation Quartz. Finally had enough stuff to get it, so most things should run away from us. Most, I say. Most of the stuff, yeah. Give me your sepi. <laughs> you shoot him, please. Shoot him again. Look, he trying to get away over there. You really gotta be turned right to get her to aim that well. マイスター、本当に助かりました。なんとか明後日の公園に間に合わせられそうです。まったくお前たちの劇団と来たら、毎度毎度要求が高すぎる。オートマタの調整なら、まだしも肌だな舞台装置の発注まで。わしとて暇ではないのだぞ。本当に申し訳ありません。何せイリアさんと劇団長からの要求が高くて、ついあのような仕掛けになってしまいました。まあいいだろう。我が工房の技術、お前たちの舞台に生かす方がエイドスの意
Um, I'm not. I mean, I don't know what else the game is going to hold, but I don't know. I just feel like we haven't seen much of her. Like the last game surprised me with um with how much Joshua and Estelle was in that game. Even even though they only showed up like at certain parts, and then boom, you get to play with them at, at the end. Um, I was very I'm very shocked on here so far about. It feels like there's been a lot less of Risha than I thought it would be. Especially for um, the further games uh, on down the line have established her character so well. It feels like this game was kind of her coming out party. Uh, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe it remains to be seen. We'll see. <laughs> おっと、こうしちゃいられない。早く帰ってセットしないと。皆さん、私はこれでまた劇場にいらしてください。はい、それでは。どうかお気をつけて。Move a little fast, but しかし、ミシェルの舞台装置を手掛けてるってのは聞いていたが。Gotta apologize. As I said in my last video, I'm still getting over all this rough stuff, so you might hear me clearing, throwing out a say every now and then, and some breathing stuff. So I apologize in advance, and I'll try to keep the coughing fits and the uh, other stuff. Uh, I'll try to mute my headphones in that case. So if you see me all of a sudden go standstill for a minute, it's probably because I'm having a coughing fit or something else is going on <laughs> but i'm i'm okay i'm just on the mend and it is this this has probably been the worst sort of cold i think i've ever had like this has just been it's been lingering for so long it's been like three weeks of just crap man and ugh. all right back to it <laughs> Oh, yeah, I did forget that. とりあえず、ルスじゃなくて助かった。決者の動きについて話をしてもらえるかどうか。あ、true。ヘンガンテルシュ。Oh. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna do that just so I can make a save. So make sure you have all your other stuff done before this point. Um, make a save outside of here just in case. <laughs> Must be something really terrible is about to happen. <laughs> すみません。クロスベル警察、特務支援課の者です。マイスターローゼンベルク。いらっしゃいますか。そう思いを上げずとも聞こえておる。どうやら聞きたいことがあって訪ねてきたようだな。あまり時間は取れぬが、少しの間
そこ知らない相手だな Don't think there's anything out here. We sure as hell gonna check though. Just in case, just in case. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. I'm going on in. Lloyd and the rest of the SSS then followed the automaton inside. After going through what felt like a maze, they emerged in an underground section of the studio. <coughs> yeah, this is where he、uh, has p o t a m o d e r a t e I mean, dude is real. I, I just like, I'm, I'm, I just wonder what drives him though. There he is. The big guy. この屋敷の地下にこんな場所があったとは何気に動力ネットの端末らしきものもありますし、うん、まさか子猫はここから無線でネットに介入してそれで何のようだ He must feel real comfortable with them now like <laughs> to show them all this ありがとうございました。実はいくつかあなたにお聞きしたいことがありまして。うん。大方カンパネルラが直海をかけたというところか。ファッキンキャブネルマン。じいさん。あんた。勘違いするな。確かに私は結社の関係者だが、あくまで
ここ以外の複数の工房の技術からも成り立っている代物だ。Well, that answers that question. ならばここは無数にある巨大な蛇の尻尾の一つ。ギルドや教会あたりが簡単に乗り込んでこないのはそういった理由もあるのだろう。Also answers another question about why they won't shut him down? ただ摘発するよりは必要に応じて情報を引き出す。That's true too? その方が利用価値があるってか。そう。それに加えてこの工房にも備えがある。もしお前たちが逮捕令状を取ってここに踏み込んできた場合、It's set to what? Explode? <laughs> ガラランドの工房だけだろう。そのパテルマテルも含む。Really? How would you get his big ass out of that fast? <laughs> なんなら今この場で、わしの身柄を拘束してみるか。Hey. またとない機会かもしれんぞ。いえ、遠慮しておきます。確かにあなたからは話を伺うだけの方が良さそうだ。ロイド、ちょ、I mean, ちょっと納得はできませんけど。There's no really no point in arresting the dude。賢明だな。どうやら具体的にいろいろと聞きたいことがあるようだな。三つに絞るない。答えられる内容ならば答えよ。Three questions, huh? わかりました。Hmm. この老人から聞きたい。Okay. Oh, okay. So it just gives you the questions. I thought you'd have to pick. All right. Let's start with、uh, what's their relationship to the cult? わしの知る限り、直接のつながりがあったことはないようだな。レンがいた連中のロッジを、結社が潰した事実はあったが。うん。Yep。Make sense。それって、楽園っていう。うん。各地の有力者を取り込むための場所だったらしいな。It's, it's, it makes sense when you really think about it. The cult gets the people to come there, it exploits them. They say, Oh, hey, you know, they got them in their back pocket if they ever need something. They're like, Hey, well, you was at this thing, we got you on footage messing with underage girls, things like that. Mm-hmm. And so the society seeing Joshua and Luve. To destroy the whole thing, they found Ren, rescue Ren. That's how that whole thing、uh, went. That's true. Nope. わしの知る限りとどう判断するかはお前たち次第だ。Alright, uh, let's go with the Angus. Angus. Alright, so the girl right there with the lance that is Arian Road. There are four other ones that haven't been figured out yet. The guy on the front is Weissman.、Um, I forget this fool's name over here. God, I always forget that man's name. The doctor.、Uh, God, I, can't, I can never think of his name. しかしか、このクロスベルを訪れるという人たちならば、知らぬでもない。So Arian Road runs the、um, Stall Ritter, headed up by Dubli. Weissman、um, is the guy who basically trained、uh, Luve and、um, Joshua. 
but Joshua became more of his direct protege because he used an, uh, him as an experiment to try stigma out on where he could kind of control Joshua more because his mind was uh, more damaged than Luve. Luve kind of got initially trained by him and then broke away from him and started doing other stuff. But he wanted him to help Joshua mostly. And he didn't know about the stuff that he did to Joshua per se. He just knew that whatever he was doing was supposed to help Joshua. But uh, then, you know, it got deeper than that with Joshua and him. And the other guy over here, I just can't think of his name right now. Um, he He's the guy who basically caused a lot of the problems in Trails into Reverie uh, when you finally get to play it. What is this fool's name? I can't think of his name. It's right on the tip of my tongue. I can't think of it. But yeah, he's, he's a bit of a goofball. But smart as hell, though. And the rest of them, I'm trying to think. Have they fingered the rest of them yet? Um... I don't know. I don't want to get too ahead and spoil too much. Yeah, I don't. I don't think uh, a lot of them have been revealed yet. These are the main three that have been revealed so far. So, so, that's yeah, that's him. Novartis, that's his name. I just it just popped up in my head. Yeah, it's Novart Novart Novartis. God. So I know, um, so we, Weissman, Weissman is, uh, I think he was the third Anguis, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Vita, uh, yeah, Vita is one. Emma's sister from the Cold Steel games. Vita is one. I think she's number two, actually. They haven't showed who number one is, and they haven't showed who number five is. Aaron Road was the seventh, and um, I think there's a uh, that Novartis was number six. And number four got revealed. I know who it is, but I mean, it doesn't really come until much later. That guy, and we don't know anything about him yet, so I don't really even feel like he's worth talking about. But his name is Harwood, I think it's Elroy. Elroy, Elroy Harwood is his name. I think he's the fourth. うん。確かに聞いた限り、立ちが悪そうではありますね。そしてもう一人、鋼の名を関する第七中がクロスベル入りするという情報が。That's going to be the big problem if Aaron Road is coming here. ちょいとやばそうな響きだな。少々謎めいた人物でな。一つ言えるとしたら、お前たち全員が束になって挑んでも叶わぬほどの達人という。Well, damn. I would say her and um McBurn are 
definitely people that when people be like oh he's one of the strongest people this 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 and you actually fight them and when they fight like when they get to the nitty-gritty of their fighting yeah they they can put a they can they can kill you they can put you on your ass that's a warning to the player. Alright, let's go for the grand scheme. Phantasm Blaze Plan. その計画も そもそも<笑> Oh man. Well, he tried. All right, we're done. I did a few names. He really didn't give a shit. So you yaksoka. そもそもお前たちにとって気がかりは我々だけではあるまい。国家独立とやらお前にして警戒しなくてはならぬ勢力は。いや。それは。ジェイガー。確かにな。そういった勢力の動きも全部知っていそうだけどね。さてな。<
そうですね先ほど案内してくれた人形にしてもそうなのですが結社というのはどうも遊びが多い組織だと思いまして、okay. 遊びが多いええエプスタイン財団や ZCF を上回る技術力を持ちながらそれを無駄に使っているようなあのパテルマテルにしてもあんな人型兵器を実用レベルで作ったら飛行艇50隻は作れてしまいそうです。Yeah, point. そ,そうなのか豊富な資金源があるのかそれとも You know, I never thought about that. I never thought about where exactly they get their funding from. I really don't. Because when I see the Grand Master, she makes these demonic swords from the divergent laws and shit like that. And it's like, what the fuck is that? Is that magic or whatever? Like, I'm thinking that maybe she just draws up whatever she wants. Like, but I never thought about where they got funding for their stuff or if they have funding at all. I, I don't know. I never thought about it that way. でも確かに軍隊や犯罪組織は基本的に効率性重視の組織形態です。遊びの部分などは極力持たずに目的のために冷徹に動いていく。そういった合理性はあまり感じられませんでしたね。俺が思ったのもそこでな。いかにすごい
Okay. Oh boy, what? Wow, okay. Nah, we gotta go. Sorry about that. I had a sneeze really, really bad. Had to put it on mute. All right, let's go. Yeah. No, sir. We get involved. Well, of course it is. Heheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheh
乗客の人たちの被害は幸い死者は出なかったようですが、oh, wow, okay. 何か重症者が出たみたいですね。治療の必要がありそうな方は、先ほど救急車で搬送されました。ああ、さっき見たよ。他の乗客は一通りバスで。ああ、市内に行くのとアルタイル島で行くのの二手に分かれるらしいね。さっきまで大混乱だったよ。無理もないかと。やれやれ。厄介な事故が起きたもんだね。とにかく俺たちも事故現場を見てみよう。通してもらってもいいかな。ああ、お前たちなら誰も文句は言わないだろう。どうぞお通りください。All right. Yep, I will make another save right here because I do not want to go through all that shit again. Make a second one right over here. Uh, let's see what we got. CGF, everybody over here hanging out. All right, let's see how bad this thing is. Okay, it's pretty bad. I mean, what could knock this、uh, whole damn train off the track, though? Yeah, Taihen, a Jiko, got to see my master. Zubari, that's ten Jiko no gain. Mitten, no Tori, Genzai, Chosa, Juda. I'm not ready to start a send way no Raksiki, the Sento Shadow got that sent to the world. Most like an Ikedo, Coco Karasakiwa, Mascominiwa, or Hikitori Negai Sriwa. すぐに復旧作業に取り掛かる必要がありますから。Great way to get our ass up out of there. え？綺麗。それは。警察として現場検証を優先したいお気持ちはわかります。ですが、この横断鉄道はゼムリア大陸における大動脈。すでに鉄道公社、帝国共和国方面、さらにはディーター市長からも。大至急の復旧が要請されています。我々警備隊としてはその要請に応えなくてはなりません。いや理屈はわかりますかね。でも事故の原因がわからないと再発の恐れがあるんじゃ。それに関しては復旧と並行するしかないでしょう。うとにかく遅くとも。夕方までには片側の路線を開ける必要があります。手配した重機が到着する前に。待ってください。ロイケイムのファーズ。あなたたち。あら、ロイド君たち。もう来たのかよ。あの、試練。現場検証もしないで、復旧作業に入るんですか。<笑>あなたも警備隊の所属者はこの路線の重要性はわかるでしょ。それに言いたくはないけれど、復旧が遅れればそれだけで帝国と共和国の横槍を招くことにつながりかねないわ。Back, I see her angle. でもこちらには真実を追求するという使命が。そうね司令。三十分。いえ、重機が来るまで、俺たちに時間をもらえませんか。あなたたちに？ええ。現在のクロスベルで、今回の事故が起こったこと、自分にはとても。単なる偶然とは思えません。本当に
必然性はないのか見極めるべきではないでしょうか例の現状による被害の可能性もありますしまあ気休め程度に任せてくれてもいいんじゃないですか You got a point, I mean. So, what does Tosta Kotoga? Scotch Bakari, I said, Kate, I know. Mother, again, back and show you, says, Masho. Kawari, you said, Yoga, Hajimareva, so Tira, you shoot you, says, Tate, that he must. Eh, what you know, you don't know. He likes shit. I ain't got to be involved in it, so I'm good. I touched that she's like. Man, she just lay one up for her. Oh, Tewakes of the show. So, so, Mukonoboni, the shiny not data shashon as in there. Untesha, you in your Hakobachi Matanga. そいつから事故当時の話は聞けるだろう了解しましたそれじゃあ捜査開始だねはい、right. Yep Had to apologize Man, I had to Uh, I guess we examine all parts of the car We'll start back here Um, yeah, but I was Sneezing away from the uh, <laughs> my, Away from the mic uh, yeah, it was terrible. Oh god, this this cold sucks, man. Um, getting over this thing. Uh, okay. But I'd like the conductor, huh? What a day. I should be thanking the goddess I'm okay. At least compared to the poor people who got carted away by those ambulances. I've never seen a train fly off the track so violently before. You're the conductor, correct? If you wouldn't mind, could you give us an account of what happened at the time of the derailment? Sure, if that's what you want, I'll do my best to tell you how it happened. The detective over there asked me earlier, but I think it was still, I was still too shaken to give a halfway decent statement. It all happened so suddenly, you know. I couldn't help being a little out of it. That's perfectly understandable. Uh, with how severe the accident was, we can't expect you to recall every little thing. Any normal person would be in shock after going through something like that. Which is really weird why the detective didn't give him any time to, to me, so... Exactly. As things stand, even the tiniest detail could have proved helpful. Do you remember seeing or hearing anything suspicious? Anything at all? Suspicious? Well... Oh, now that you mention it, yeah. Maybe. Something springs to mind. It was right before the derailment happened, while I was on the comms with the engineer. He just started yelling out of nowhere. I remember him shouting, what is that? Or something along those lines. The accident happened moments later. The front car derailed and the rest of them followed one after another. And well, you know how the story goes from there. Now I'm out here talking to you. Evidently, the engineer was caught by surprise. From the sound of it, he must have seen something he couldn't believe. Which leads us to one, uh, one question. What was it that he spotted? Alright. So, that's another officer. We investigated each car as much as we could just to be thorough. But unfortunately, it didn't turn up anything. No clues to be had. You're sure? Uh, not you sure? Not one thing suspicious on it on the train that large? Not really. It's just pa the passengers' luggage in there now, and nothing seemed off about any of it. All signs are pointing to the derailment being caused by some external force. So something hit it, huh? Yeah, I guess so. Like something may have slammed into it. I've gotten a good look at, uh, at it all. This is one hell of an accident. Thank ADOs there weren't any fatalities. That's true. I believe most passengers who were not taken to the hospital are, were transferred by bus to the Republic. Unfortunately, that means we can't take any statements from them now. 
Well, sometimes you gotta work with what you got. Speaking of which, have you spoken with the conductor yet? He's resting uh, by the rock over there. He was too shaken to remember anything useful when we talked to him earlier. But maybe he's calmed down a bit now. Make sure you hear what he has to say. Yeah, we already did that because we're good detectives. Unlike you guys. Interesting. Yeah, look at that dent. Yeah, something hit this part and definitely knocked it off the uh, track. Look like claw marks. What do you suppose happened here? We were thinking a rock might have rolled down the nearby cliff and derailed the train. Maybe this is where it made the impact. The possibility is there, given the spherical dent on the side. I don't know about that. How do you explain those giant scratches here at the center then? When you think about it, the position's a lot farther up than you expect too. I don't think a simple a falling rock would have left marks like these. Exactly, not that size. If that's the case, then just what did collide with the train? Alright. Let's go to the front of it. This could be the locomotive. The most essential car of the train. Without one, it would be able to uh, unable to move at all. Inside this engineer's cab and the orbital engine produced by the Rhineford Company. That's all it, very educational and all, but doesn't something about this seem off to you? I was just thinking the same thing. There's not nearly as much damage on it as I would have pictured. You're right. It's a little unnatural considering uh, it's the frontmost car. Think about it. Had it collided with something head on, it wouldn't still be uh, this pristine. Whatever caused the derailment must have hit it from somewhere else. Yep, definitely on the damn side. Okay, nothing there. Let's check around here. Okay, he's just talking about it. Look at the, yeah, those are claw marks. Yeah. Those are claws. Unless something scraped. Or was that the train? Look at the marks on the cliff side. They're enormous. It's like the whole surface has been carved in two. Parts of the ground have been gouged out too. The train must have derailed uh, toward the left hand side. Quick question. Why do you suppose these streaks in the wall are, are so out of blue? I mean, are, are out, so out of blue. I believe those would be flecks of paint. Yeah, okay. All right, that makes sense. It's gotta be it. You can tell it's the same color as the train uh, cars themselves. After the train derailed, it must have scraped against the rock uh, for ways, leaving those blue skid marks. No doubt. But how, uh, look how far along they run. How would the train even stay against the wall for that long? Looks like something leaned on it. Looks like we might need to rethink the actual circumstances that led to these marks. Yes. That so if it's me, it looks like, if I'm thinking it looks like something ran into it right on the side, something big. So I'm, you, you probably are looking at like a cryptid or beast or something like that. Leaned on the train, train hits the wall, and it dragged along the wall. 
going at the same speed. Alright, so before we get deep into this, I'm going to end here, and when we come back, we'll be diving into this. Uh, it seems like it's going to lead to a different type of mission uh, that's going to dive deeper into this, so we'll do that when we come back. But thank you all for rocking with me. I appreciate everybody checking out the vids as always. If you are new to the channel, tap that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.